So far, we have already learned how to create, read and update a resource using Express.js. Now in this lecture, let's learn how to delete a resource on the server using Express.js. Let's go to VS Code. Let me scroll down and here let's go ahead and let's create a new route handler for handling the delete request. So on this app object, we have a method called delete. Now this delete method is used to handle a delete HTTP request on the server on the Express app. To this, the first argument is the endpoint. So I will copy this endpoint from here. So for deleting a resource also, we need to uniquely identify it. And we are going to uniquely identify it using its ID. Then the second argument is a callback function. So this callback function is basically the route handler function. And this route handler function receives the request and response object. Now inside this route handler function, we need to write the logic to delete a resource, basically a movie object from this movies.json file. So first of all, let's go ahead and let's store the ID value, which we are going to receive for this ID route parameter into a variable. So I'm going to create a variable. I will call it ID. And to this, to get the ID, which the user has passed in the URL on the request object, we have the params object. And in this params object, we will have an ID property. So this request.params.id, it is going to return us the ID value which the user has typed in the URL. Now this value is going to be a string value. So let's first convert it to a numeric type by multiplying it by one. Or we can also use this plus operator in front of it. So there are several ways of converting a string value to its numeric type. You can use any technique you know. Okay. All right. So here we are getting the ID. Now based on this ID, we want to get the movie object which we want to delete. So again, I'm going to create a new variable and I will call it movie to delete. Okay, and to get this movie, what I'm going to do is on the movies array, I'm going to use the find method like we have done earlier. And there we are going to pass a callback function. For the callback function, let's say this callback function is going to receive an element parameter and it is going to check if the ID of that element, if it matches the ID value which we are receiving in the route parameter. So basically this ID value. Okay, so here, this find method will loop over each element in this movies array and for each iteration, it will assign that element to this EL parameter. Now the elements of this movies array are movie objects and each movie object has the ID property. So for each iteration, we are checking if the ID value of that movie matches the ID value, which we are receiving in the URL. If any movie object satisfies this condition, that movie object will be returned and that will be assigned to this variable. But in the movies array, if we don't have any movie object which satisfies this condition, in that case, this find method will return undefined. Okay, so here we have the movie which we want to delete. Now let's also get the index of this movie. For that, let me create another variable. I will call it index. And to get the index of this movie object inside this movies array, on this movies array, I'm going to use a method called index of. Okay, and to this index of, let's pass this movie object. Okay, so this line of code is going to return us the index of that movie object which we want to delete inside the movies array. Finally, let's write the logic to delete that movie from the movies array. So to delete that movie from the movies array, I'm going to use splice method on this movies array. And to this splice method, we need to pass two arguments. The index of the element which we want to delete so that index we are storing inside this index variable. Let's pass it as the first argument. And then the number of element which we want to delete from that index. Here, we only want to delete one element. So as the second argument, I will pass one. Now keep in mind that this splice method is going to mutate the original array. Okay. In this case, it is going to mutate this movies array. So in the movies array, an element will be deleted. A movie object will be deleted based on the value which we are passing for this ID parameter. And that deletion will happen in the original array itself inside this movies array itself. Okay. Now what we want is we want to write this updated movies array to this movies.json file. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line of code from here. Let's pass it here. And since we are deleting a resource, First of all, the status code here should be 204. 204 stands for no content. And in the response, we don't need to send any content, any data in case of a delete request. So here I am going to set this movies property to null. Okay. 
with this let's save the changes and let's test this api so let's go to postman let's open a new tab here and here let's type the url so the root url is 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 so it is this url on which our express app is running on then let's provide the endpoint so it is slash api slash v1 slash movies then we also need to pass the value for the id parameter so there let's say we want to delete the third movie object from the movies.json file so let's pass three here and from here let's select the delete http method currently if i go to this movies.json file there we have a movie object with id 3 right now when i click on this send button here let's see what happens so you can see in the response we are not receiving anything and the status is 204 no content but since we have made a delete request now the movie object with this id3 should be deleted from the movies.json file let's check that let's go to vs code and let me scroll a bit left and there you will see that now we have the movie object with id2 and we have the movie object with id4 but the movie object with id3 has been deleted from movies.json file okay so our delete api is working as expected now let's go to postman and here i passed the id value as 3 and with this value we had a movie object inside the movies.json file that's why we were able to delete it successfully but what if if i pass a value like 30 and with that id value we don't have any movie in the movies.json file so we also need to take care of this scenario for that let me go back to vs code and from here i will copy this if statement and what i will do is after we have found which movie we want to delete after that let's write this if statement okay and in the condition here let's pass movie to delete okay so if the id value is something with which we don't have any movie object inside this movies.json file in that case this find method is going to return undefined so here that undefined will be converted to false and on that we are using this not operator so this condition will return true so in that case what we want to do is we want to return a response where the status code is 404 and in the response we want to send a json object where we want to set the status to fail and the message should be no movie object with id and the id value which the user has passed in the url is found and let's also add some more text to delete okay so this is the response we want to send if the user passes an id value with which we don't have any movie object inside the movies.json file so let's save the changes let's go to postman and let me click on this send button again so in the response you see we are receiving the status as fail message as no movie object with id 30 is found to delete and the status code is 404 but if i pass let's say 2 in that case the movie object with this id 2 should be deleted from the movies.json file let's actually see that so let's click on the send button in the response we should not receive anything and the status code should be 204 no content now let's go back to vs code and let's go to movies.json file and there now we should not have any movie object with id 2 so here we have the movie object with id 1 and then we have movie object with id 4 the movie object with id 2 has been deleted from here okay let's go ahead and let's also save this request and here let's call it delete movie okay we want to save it inside this my collection so here we have implemented our delete route handler now before i wrap up this lecture what i am also going to do is i am going to refactor this code so basically what i am going to do is i am going to keep all the route handler functions here at one place so at the top after this middleware i am going to provide a comment let's say route handler functions and now i am going to predefine route handler functions so what i am going to do is i am going to copy this route handler function from this get api i will cut it from here here i will create a new variable i will call it get all movies and to that i am going to assign this function and now let's pass this get all movies function as a route handler function to this get api then we have another get api here and this get api is to get a single movie in the response so again i will cut this route handler function from here okay 
let me create another function so i'll create a variable i will call it get movie because here we are going to get a single movie and to that i will assign this route handler function and let's pass this get movie function as the route handler function to this get api let's do the same thing for this post api as well so i will cut this route handler function from here i will create a new function let's call it create movie and to that let's assign this function and let's pass this create movie function as the route handler for this post api let's do the same thing for this patch route handler so i'll cut it from here i'll create a function let's call it update movie and to that let's assign this route handler function and let's pass this update movie as the route handler for this patch api finally let's do the same thing for this delete api so i will cut this route handler function from here i'll create a new function let's call it delete movie and to that let's assign this function and now let's pass this delete movie as the route handler function for this delete api okay so now we have our route handler functions at one place and we have our apis at one place so in this way we have simply refactored our code now we can refactor this code further for example if you see the endpoint for this get api and for this post api it is same so what we can do is on this app object we have another method called route to that we can pass this api so let me copy it from here and let's pass it here okay and on that we can chain this get and this post api so here let's say get now here we don't need to pass any endpoint because here this get method is going to use this endpoint here we only need to pass the route handler so let me copy this route handler function and let's pass it here then let's also chain the post request because for the post request also the endpoint is same so here let's go ahead and let's also chain the post request and there also let's pass the route handler only so create movie is the route handler function for this post request okay let's move it to separate line so that it will be more readable now let's create another route so for that let's say app dot route and there let's pass this endpoint the endpoint where we also have the id parameter okay and this endpoint is used by this get method this patch method and this delete method so let's chain all these three methods together so first of all let's say dot get and there let's pass the route handler so the route handler in this case is get movie then let's also chain patch and to this let's pass the patch route handler function so this update movie function and finally let's also chain the delete method and to this let's pass this delete movie route handler okay and now we can go ahead and we can comment these apis so this is also how we can write our api here we are simply chaining different http methods which is using the same endpoint and this should also work the same way as it was working earlier let's quickly test that let's go to postman so first of all let's go to get all movies here let's click on this send button so basically we are making a get request to this api when i click on this send button you see we are receiving all the movies which we have inside this movies.json file then we don't have any request saved for post request so let's go ahead and let's create a new request of type post and there i will enter this url so let's copy this and let's paste that url there now since we are making a post request we also need to provide some body for the request so let's go to this body section there let's select raw and here we want to send some json data okay now since we want to create a movie object the movie object should have a name property or uh, what i will do is i will simply copy a movie object from this movies.json file so let me copy it from here and let's go ahead and let's paste it here now as we have learned when we are creating a new object we don't need to pass the id so the id will be auto generated okay let's have a name for the movie maybe test 4 then let's say release year is 2020 and duration let's say 70 minutes okay 
let's go ahead and let's make this post request so let's click on the send button and you will notice that in the response we are receiving the newly created movie object okay if i go to vs code there we should have a new movie object so here you can see that new movie object with name test4 has been created and the id has been auto generated for that newly created movie object let's save this request as well so here let's say create movie and let's save this inside the same collection okay now let's also test this get movie by id so here let me pass maybe one because we have already deleted movie with id two and three right so let me click on the send button and in the response we should get that movie object whose id is one so this is also working now let's check our patch request this patch api so let's say we want to update the movie with id one and there let's say we want to change the name to test five okay currently if i go to vs code the movie with id one has name die hard so i want to change it to test five let's go back to postman let's make a patch request let's click on the send button and you will see that we have received the updated movie object in the response and here also in movies.json file the name has changed to test five finally let's also test our delete movie api so let's say we want to delete the movie with id one okay let me click on this send button so a delete request will be sent now if i go to movies.json file there we should not have any movie object with id1 so as you can see the movie with id1 has been deleted from here so all our apis are working as expected this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day